So I just took a ride out into the woods to a place that I visit more often than you may think. And I do that, and I said it plenty of times, I do that because it, it really reminds me of just how bad things really can be. When you think things are bad, it's always good to have something within reach that can really remind you things aren't as bad as you think. But on top of that, I made a video earlier this year, and I watched that video tonight, and I just wanna say that that video, it actually, it inspired me. And I think that's important because I was the creator of this video. And I can, I can almost, I can hope that if I watch this video three months later at a time where I may be struggling and it helped inspire me, I pray to God that it'll do the same thing for you or somebody that you know that needs it. So without any more, any, I have nothing else to say. Here's the video. God bless you. If you were able to save a life, let's just say, if you, if you were able to, in your mind, if you were able to know in your mind that you would save a life by pushing something onto somebody, would you do it? That's the question. Would you do it? And if you would, the other question is, why aren't you doing it? Because I'm here to tell you, what I'm doing is for that purpose. I want to save your life. You, yes, you, watching me right now, that's home, that's depressed, that doesn't feel good, that doesn't want to get up during the day, the morning, the night, whatever, that just can't find the drive or the motivation to do anything. You, the person that has multiple problems going on, Maybe you have sick relatives, you know, you, you're just struggling all around. I'm here to help you and I want to push this. What I'm doing, I want to push it onto you. And I want you to today, right now, I want you to get your stuff together and I want you to try some of the stuff that I'm doing here. You, yes, I keep speaking to you because I want, I want you to do this. So come along for the next few minutes and let's have a talk. Depression is no joke. It's, it's a serious thing. Every, just about everybody that you look at on a regular basis in your every day-to-day -day life, everybody that you pass walking down the street or people that you work with, I would have to say probably 90%, if not more, of those people suffer from some form of depression. And it's, it's a very real thing, and I'm learning all of this as I meet more people and as more time goes by. Depression is serious. I think one of the biggest steps into, I think one of the biggest steps to succeeding, okay, is to, to really accept the fact that right now, you, you know, you're struggling with depression. I think you have to accept it into your mind and say, okay, I'm suffering from depression. You know, what can I do? You know, what can I, what types of things can I do to try to help this situation that I'm in? I know the very first thing that most people will think is go see a doctor and get on some kind of prescription medication that works for depression or anxiety or you know somewhere along those particular lines now I personally this is my opinion I strongly strongly I disagree with that I think there are other things and other ways that you can deal with depression without going to a doctor and being prescribed medication and in some cases they dope you up to kind of like get you out of the real world that you're living in and now you're living in some kind of a false reality in my opinion so you know what are the, some of the things that you can do to start your journey and try to slip away from depression so one of the things that you can do the very same thing that i did when i was at my worst time of my life think about being creative when you're, when you're creating something, your brain is focused on that particular thing, okay? Whether you're creating a painting or a sculpture or any, any art-related project. It, actually, it could be riding quads. It could be playing the guitar. It could be doing a multitude of different things. But when you're doing something like that, it is a form of release. Your brain is now so focused on what you're doing 
it starts to alleviate the depressed thoughts in your brain, okay? And it actually takes over that. And I'm telling you, I'm talking from experience. I'm not a counselor, I'm not a doctor, I'm not any of that. But what I can tell you is that I used to, I used to be prescribed Valiums and, and Xanax and, and, and a lot of different things to try to help with my mental situation. And I'm just gonna put this right out there right now. Me painting a picture beats that by 10,000 times over. There's no effect that they can make in a pill form that you or myself will get from painting a picture. It just doesn't happen. I'm here to help you. Think about this for a minute. I want you to try something. I want you to try to create something. I have, I have so many videos here on this channel. They're not edited. You just go right through, you follow from start to end. I'm always here to answer your questions. I have my email, I'll have all that stuff in the description, but just think for a minute. Just think about it. You're sitting there watching this right now and you probably have no hope in your mind, but I'm here to tell you there's hope. You don't have to be all doped up on medication. You don't have to walk around with a frown on your face all the time. You don't have to have these feelings anymore. You have to create is what you have to do. You have to create. You have to start now. You need to start today. It's a, it's a good time to start. We are in a new year. Set your goals. You can definitely do it. I don't know how much more sincere I can be something like this can change your life i mean that i'm begging you to try this I'm, I'm begging you to try it And you don't have to follow along with some tutorial that's super super hard start with the basics i've been doing this for three years now every single thing that i do is basic it's not hard limited steps but why am i even doing this because I don't want to be depressed. That's why I'm doing this. It helps me. And I really want to help you. I really, I really want to help you. So please listen to me. And I know some of you right now, you're probably, you're probably saying, oh, well, you know, you make it look too easy or it's, it's not as easy for everybody else. You have to start somewhere. You don't have to share your work. When I first started doing this, I didn't share anything in the beginning because it was, it was for me. I didn't share anything. And as I started to progress, at that point, I started to share my work. So you don't have to tell, you don't have to show anybody what you're doing. I do this all the time. I actually will take paint and I will just smear it on a canvas and just with my fingers and, and just, just go crazy with it. It's just some kind of release that I, I just can't quite explain without, without begging you, without begging you to do it. So many people take their lives every year and I almost was one of those people. I almost took my life. I am here, the only reason I'm here to this day is because, because of this. That's it. That's the hard truth. This intercepted my bad, my negative thoughts, my depressed thoughts, and it worked. Once I started painting, I didn't have to take Valium anymore. I didn't have to take Xanax anymore. I didn't have to worry about when am I gonna see, you know, see my counselor or when am I gonna see a psychiatrist? I didn't have so many things got thrown right out the window in a positive way that I didn't have to worry about doing anymore, all because of painting. Could you imagine could you imagine for just one minute, sitting right here watching this video right now, feeling horrible, in two or three months time, you could feel like a new person. Just think about that for a minute. Let it, let it sink in. It's, it's amazing. I named my website a few different things. I have a few different website names. The one is The Power of Painting, that's number one. The second name is Saved by Painting. I, I gave it those names for a purpose, for a reason. I wanted it to be self-explanatory when people find the website or when they look on there. I wanted people to understand. It's not just a standard website of some guy that's creating paintings to try to sell them. It's serious. Why am I making this video today? I'm making this video today because we're in a new year. We're in a new decade. Everybody makes, 
everybody makes New Year's resolutions, right? Everybody makes them. I want you to make one of them. And don't do it for me. Do it for somebody in your family. Do it for somebody in your family that knows that you're struggling. Somebody that knows that you're having such a hard time. I want you to do it for that. Because your happiness, other people's happiness depends on your happiness, whether you know it or not. But the happiness of your family, your close family, depends on you. Your family is counting on you, and I want to help you. I don't know how else to say it. Set a goal. I want you to start creating something. Do it for one month straight. You don't have to post. You don't have to share. You're gonna, are you going to have headaches? Absolutely. There's going to be bumps in the road. We all have them. I had them. I struggled. It's not the point of struggling. It's not about impressing others. This is about for you. This is about helping you in our new decade, in the new year. This is about a new life for you. It's possible. I'm not making anything standing here. Nobody's paying me. I'm here because I sincerely want to help you. I sincerely, I want you to have a new life, a positive life. And I mean that. You don't have, you don't have to believe me. I just want you to try it. And let's just say for a minute, <clears throat> you don't even want to do it for yourself. Let's, let's just throw that out there. Do, think about it. You know somebody that's suffering, right? You know somebody that suffers from depression. Everybody knows handfuls of people that suffer from depression. I want you, if you don't want to do it for your own self, do it for somebody that you know that is struggling with depression. Do it for them. Turn this subject onto them. Let them know that there, there is a positive outcome. This is such a huge thing, and I'm telling you right now, I am going to make a big deal out of this and what painting actually does for the mind, the body, the heart, the soul, what it does for people around you. I am not gonna go anywhere. I am gonna sit here and I'm gonna beat this into your brains for the rest of my life. And I promise you that because it works. Why wouldn't you want to start over? Why would, it's not like I'm asking you to leave your family or go somewhere for three weeks or go into some mental institution and get help there. I'm just asking you to go to the store, get some stuff, come back home and start creating something. Make a craft, make a sculpture, get a can of spray paint, get a big piece of plywood and just start spray painting on it. Just release release your creative energy in your brain. Next to me here is a picture that I'm so proud of because my, and I know it's a little blurry, but my wife and my children are in that picture standing next to me as I am creating something that saved my life. My wife and kids wouldn't have me today if it wasn't for that. And I know that sounds selfish, but I'm trying to tell you just how much I understand depression. It doesn't matter if you have the best family in the world. It just doesn't matter. Those things, you want them to matter, but they don't because it takes over your brain. So what do you do? You, you fight it. You fight it with something that takes over the majority of your brain, which is creation. Creation is so underrated, but it works. I'm telling you, just give it a try. Give it a try. I have multiple videos on this channel that can walk you through one by one. I'm always here to answer your emails and your questions and things. It's a new year, everybody. I'm here to help you. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do because I love all of you and I want good for you. Share this video with somebody that you love. Share it with somebody that you care about. God bless you. I'll see you soon.